On today's episode of Fix It Your Motherfucking Self, the Plumber's Edition. As you can see, unless you just brain dead, this is a hot water here. That's not what's supposed to happen. So, yeah. We gotta change this motherfucker out. So, whenever you're doing a hot water here, you got water and electricity. They don't mix. Matter of fact, they kill your motherfucking ass. So you come to your electrical box, find the one that says water heater, lift that bitch off. Well, there's no power going to the hot water heater. Back in a minute. Then you get your electrical test. Wow. Which this one says AIM. Which happens to be my last name. Yeah. And part of you can challenge. And compound production. Yeah. Then you find a line that is actually live just to test. So we found this one here. See that noise? That means the motherfucker is hot. Now that you found out that your tester works, come over here to your electrical to your hot water heater. You see there's no power. So you're good to take this bitch apart. Because that and this don't mix. I'll tell them in. All right, ladies and gentlemen, first you come out here and turn off the water at the street. Well, you got the old bullshit. And you got the new good shit. I'll tell them with it. First, we're going to disconnect the power. That's just the mix right there. Screw all those. Screw this box and get in there and disconnect the power. You already know it's cut off at the break. Okay? Look, make sure the motherfucking break is cut the fuck off. You don't be KFC crispy fried ass motherfucker. You get what I'm talking about? So, make sure the shit is out. Make sure. Okay. I'm just gonna show you it is out. See? Well, you got the power disconnected as you can see. You know, you all get the fuck with that. But anyway, now you gotta disconnect the pot in the three fourth fitting. I didn't have a pressing wrench, I mean not a pressing wrench, a damn pipe wrench, so find me on adjustable wrench. Let me see if this bitch works. Fuck my wrist up yesterday having a car wreck, y'all saw that video. So we're gonna see if we can get this uh, pool. If not, I get my lovely assistant that's behind the camera, my wife, and help me pull some leverage on this motherfucker. So here we go. Yeah. Make sure the fucking power is off. See how I got this wire that's sitting around my ass. And if you need to, anybody in the goddamn house, you tell them, don't touch this damn brake box. My wife might be okay. I got nice size insurance box. Here, 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 here. Another box also. Yeah, you see the thumbs up. Okay, we got the highlight off. Now, cold line, we're gonna have to cut that because I'm gonna put a new uh, ball valve on. Because these right here, they leak. Let me see if I get in there just a little bit closer. Be right back. This valve right here, sometimes it leaks. There's nothing wrong with the one we got, but I'm gonna change it to a ball valve. That way, I just turn the switch on and off. We ain't gotta worry about just leaking that right there. So, and then we're gonna cut the line right back here with a pipe cutter and then add on to it. Be back in a minute. All right, we're gonna go over a few things we're gonna use here. When we cut the pipe, the copper pipe is right there. We're gonna need to clean it, fitting, and clean the pipe to stick on the ball valve. See, that's the ball valve. 
and you clean the pipe out so it'll be clear and free contamination. Then we're going to need some toilet tape. Then we'll cover the tip of the end pipe. Of course, you all feel that uh, electrical tester. Some wire nuts. So we're going to put the new in. And of course, the new unit. No, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. This piece of pipe is too long, but you're going to cut it. So we're going to put it in. You're not telling me. Okay. Good thing, when your water heater goes bad, you need to shut off the water up top here, then get your water hose, as you can see, hook it up to that right there, and drain the water. That way, this son bitch ain't gonna be as heavy when you get it the fuck up out of here. Now, you do all that, and well, first, you just take the power off. If you do all that, then you take the electrical off, then take the hose off. And you might want this pressure release valve right here. Lift that up, make sure there's no pressure when you take these, before you take these lines off. Be back in a minute. All right. What we're gonna do is, get the pipe cutter right here. We're gonna turn this motherfucker around. Let this motherfucker. We have one little turn right here. We're gonna see what it do. Sweating it, you just clean it up, make it all sh nice and shiny. Then you clean the outside too. You ever clean up battery terminals in the car? This same pretty much process. Up. Turn this to get all shiny and shit. Baby's, baby's ass, that yeah. Yeah. Be the old shiny. So now, we get our ball valve. Take off the Read the instructions. Go ahead and uh, cut out our piece. Hey, 
get on this end right here. Get back at that one, Well, we're gonna tug on this one more time just to make sure this shit is on there. You know what I'm talking about? You don't want no leaks, no well. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do this. Grab our packs. So we gotta cut the link. Put it right here. So we connect to the, uh, uh, how much is this? Uh, uh, what do you We're gonna move this on the crown out the way and put the new one in. Then do our thing. You know what? What the fuck she said? Yeah, because you know, I, hey, we virgins at this shit. So, you know what I'm talking about? We busting our chair right now. So, like she said, we're going to move this old motherfucker. We got, we got the hotline off. We didn't cut the motherfucking cold side. Put the new fitting on. Move this out the way. And move this out the way. Get my tools up. We cut the power off this motherfucker. Then we're going to move this out the way and get the new one in here. Be back in a minute, y'all. I'm not sick man by no means. So, you see I got my uh, dolly. And I got some new balls. Now, two years ago. Well, I still got it out there. No, 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 However many years this thing lasts, it leaking that motherfucker's damn thing around that on my goddamn floor. We'll have y'all in a minute. We're almost ready to put the new one in. Alright, so we got the new one in place. It's the performance platinum ring, goddammit, the gladiator version. As you can see, this motherfucker's level. Got us some Teflon tape. So we're gonna put it on the hot and the cold side here. Got it going around this motherfucker. So there won't be no leaks and shit. Yeah. Now we just gotta hook this shit up. Hook up a little bit of that PEX pipe. And we should be in business. Then we'll hook up the link. Read this before you do anything. It's important. Read, goddammit. You got a cameo here. My lovely wife. I'm gonna push this last little bit on here. Now that we have turned on the water at the street, the moment of truth, goddammit, we are going to turn on the water. Notice, the electricity is not on yet. If you turn on the plug, plug up the power and turn the switch on, before filling this thing up, it'll burn out the element. There's two on this motherfucker. One, two. Let this fill all the way up. Then, you're good to go. I'll tell you in a second. I'm gonna trip you Water is flowing in. I don't see now leak no well. Me and my lovely assistant, for the very first time, and yeah, we're new homeowners at the same damn time, have, so far, besides electrical, Hooked up a hot water heater. Now we wait for this motherfucker to fill up. Why it is filling up? Turn on the hot water. So it can bleed out the air in the system. Yeah. Be back in there. As you see, I've taken off the instructions. But let's see what it says that I had to read before I took that off. It says, do not remove before reading. Do not make electric connections and do not turn power 
own unit, you have performed the following steps. Verify that all the water lines are connected. Verify a cold water supply line valve is open. Run hot water faucets in the house to ensure water heater tank is completely filled. Dry fire and heating elements are not covered under warranty. So, always read the damn instructions. Save you some money, and it might save your goddamn life. Okay, we didn't show y'all the electrical part because the fact is, I'm not an electrician. My wife is not an electrician. We just follow what we're supposed to by the instructions. So, if you hook your shit up, do it at your own motherfucking risk. So, we won't show, say, when we looked at the video, he showed us how to do this shit. No, the fuck I didn't. But, the electrical is hooked up. You see? Now we're gonna go and turn on the power. Be back in a minute. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Moment of truth. We had the power box, as you can see. We're gonna turn this motherfucker on. Like I showed y'all earlier, I want here. That's from downstairs on. Now we're gonna flip this switch. Then we're gonna go downstairs and see what the fuck happens. Don't hear no explosions. So, sound like we're good. Let's go down and see what's going on. We got to tell in a minute. Well, we're back in the garage. Blue means go in this case. Means everything's set up right. Well, plugged up right anyway. And we got to read the instructions to set everything up for how hot we want the water and all that good shit. So, this has been another episode of Fix Your Motherfuckers Up, the Plumbing Handyman Homeowner's Edition. We'll have to the next damn time around. Y'all be careful out there. Hey, if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, and comment to the Ames Compound Productions YouTube channel. We greatly appreciate y'all doing it. Y'all have a good night.